Welcome to Quantum Analyst, a channel focused on quantum technology, based on fact-based research. In the fast-evolving world of quantum computing, innovative approaches keep emerging. Among them, the photonics approach stands out, with at least eight companies now embracing this method. In today's video, we'll delve into the essence of the photonics approach, explore its rising popularity, and assess the progress of these eight trailblazing companies. Let's get started. When it comes to constructing qubits, there are at least six distinct approaches, superconducting, trapped ions, neutral atoms, photonics, silicon, and topological qubits. Today, we'll zero in on the photonics approach. Here's an overview of the eight companies, each hailing from a different country. While NTT is from Japan, the other seven are all young startups. We'll delve into each of them in detail shortly. A photon is a particle of light and can serve as a qubit. Various properties of a photon, such as its presence or absence, polarization, frequency, or color, and temporal location, can be harnessed to represent the state of a qubit, making it a versatile choice in quantum computing. The photonic approach to quantum computing has garnered significant attention in recent years, and for good reasons. Its advantages encompass Elimination of extremely low temperature requirements Utilization of existing manufacturing technologies A more straightforward path to scaling up Compatibility with current telecom infrastructure However, being a relatively nascent approach, it faces challenges such as photon loss when traversing a medium and a lack of effective error correction mechanisms. Yet, when weighing the pros and cons, the advantages seem to currently tip the scale in favor of the photonic approach. Number 1, Psi Quantum Established in 2015, Psi Quantum set out with a visionary mission, to build and deploy the world's first useful quantum computer. Based in Palo Alto, California, the company boasts a global presence with team members spread across the UK, Germany, France, Australia, and Japan. As of April 2023, Psi Quantum employs a team of approximately 250 individuals. Jeremy O'Brien, co-founder and CEO of Psi Quantum, previously served as a professor at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. He earned his PhD from the University of New South Wales in Australia. Psi Quantum firmly believes that to realize the full potential of a quantum computer, it necessitates a million qubits, with photonics being the ideal approach to achieve this. Although they haven't yet released a commercial quantum computer, their robust funding has enabled significant investments in both research capabilities and manufacturing infrastructure. On the financial front, Psi Quantum has secured $665 million in funding, making it arguably the most well-funded quantum startup to date. Reports indicate that the company raised $215 million in April 2020 and an impressive $450 million in July 2021. Investors backing the venture include Bailey Gifford, Microsoft's venture fund M12, Blackbird Ventures, and Temasek. Following the 2021 funding round, Sequantum's valuation soared to $3.15 billion, positioning it as the most valuable quantum startup at that time. Since Sequantum's notable $450 million funding in 2021, the company has been relatively quiet in updates. The reasons remain speculative, either they're gearing up for a significant announcement or there's limited progress to report. At a May 2023 event in Sydney, Australia, CEO Jeremy O'Brien, a UNSW alumnus, was questioned about investor pressures for interim results. While acknowledging some pressure, O'Brien stressed the ultimate goal of achieving 1 million qubits for a functional quantum computer, hinting at the need for adjusted expectations. Number 2, Xanadu. Established in 2016, based in Toronto, the company now boasts a team of over 170 professionals. Its mission is to build quantum computers that are useful and available to people everywhere. Christian Weedbrook is the founder and chief executive officer of Xanadu. Christian has over a decade of industry, government, and research experience in quantum computing and quantum cryptography. He holds a PhD in physics from the University of Queensland and was a postdoc at MIT and the University of Toronto. Regarding their technological roadmap, Xanadu employs a measurement-based quantum computing approach. Their architecture is modular, designed with the capability to scale up to 1 million qubits via optical networking. Xanadu has developed a product lineup that consists of hardware, software, and simulators, 
with the X-Series quantum computer as its core. In June 2022, Xanadu unveiled Borealis, a programmable photonic quantum computer equipped with 216 squeezed-state qubits. Remarkably, Borealis outperformed the most advanced classical supercomputers in a specific task. This groundbreaking achievement is now accessible to users globally through Xanadu Cloud. The company's CEO highlighted that they had reached a milestone often termed, quantum supremacy, or, quantum computational advantage. This marks only the third instance of such a demonstration worldwide, making it a first for both a startup and for Canada. From a funding perspective, Xanadu has secured a total of $275 million. On November 9, 2022, the company disclosed a $100 million USD raise from its Series C financing. This round was spearheaded by Georgian, Canada's premier growth equity firm, elevating Xanadu's valuation to $1 billion USD. Number 3, Quix Quantum. Emerging as a spin off from the University of Twente in the Netherlands, Quix Quantum was founded in January 2019. The company was initiated by Dr. Hans van den Vleckert, a veteran of the photonics industry, and Dr. Jelmer Renema, an expert in quantum photonics. They were joined by a team of professors from the University of Twente. Quix Quantum operates from its headquarters on the university's campus. In May 2022, Quix Quantum released their 20-mode quantum photonic processor, a crucial component of a quantum sampling machine. The company stated that their processors have become the de facto standard for photonic quantum information processing in Europe, adopted by the French, German, British, and Hungarian quantum sectors. In a news release from September 23, 2022, the company announced plans to develop a prototype photonic quantum computer for the German Aerospace Center, DLR. This European entity is the first to market a universal quantum computer based on photonics on a global scale. The company has secured funding through two rounds, an initial pre-seed round in 2019, followed by a seed round in July 2020. The specific financial details of these rounds have not been disclosed. Number 4, Orca Computing. Headquartered in London, UK, Orca Computing has expanded its presence with offices in Toronto, Canada, Krakow, Poland, and Seattle, U.S. Established in 2019 as a spin-off from the University of Oxford, the company leverages over three decades of scientific research led by co-founder Professor Ian Walmsley. OCAR has adopted a pragmatic technology roadmap. While they recognize the long-term importance of fault tolerance for realizing large-scale, general-purpose quantum computing, they also aim to seize opportunities in the short term with their current technology. To achieve this, they introduced the PT series, a quantum accelerator or coprocessor, designed to complement existing classical resources for machine learning and variational algorithms. As per the company's website, the PT series has been distributed to customers globally. From a funding perspective, the company announced in June 2022 the completion of a $15 million Series A funding round. This round was spearheaded by a consortium of prominent European deep technology investors. Beyond this investment round, the company has also garnered substantial project-based funding from Innovate UK. Number 5, Quandela. Quandela is a European startup based in Paris, France, focused on developing modular, scalable, and energy-efficient photonic quantum computers. Founded in 2017 by three experts, the company has a team skilled in software and hardware development for various quantum applications. The company has a team of around 50 individuals. Quandela's premier photonic quantum computer is named Mozok, available in configurations from 2 qubits up to 12 photonic qubits. Being modular, Mozok is upgradable. Currently, several Mozok QPUs are accessible to Quandela's customers and scientific collaborators. In March 2023, reports indicated that OVH Cloud, a European cloud service provider, acquired a Mozok computer from Quandela with delivery expected within the year. This represents Quandela's inaugural order. In June 2023, Quandela announced the inauguration of its maiden quantum computer manufacturing facility in Massey, Essen, France. This development signifies a pivotal milestone as the company transitions into its industrialization phase. Furthermore, Quandela has plans to roll out two additional quantum computers on the cloud in the upcoming months and is set to broaden its range of cloud-based quantum solutions. 
Quandela has secured approximately 25 million euros in funding through various avenues. In November 2021, the company raised 15 million euros from the deep tech investment fund Omnes, the Defense Innovation Fund, BPFrance, and the Quantonation Funds. In June 2022, Quandela was selected by the EIC Accelerator, a startup funding program under the European Innovation Council, to receive blended finance. The specific amount was not disclosed. In relation to the establishment of its manufacturing facility in June 2023, reports indicate that Quandela was granted a 9.5 million euros subsidy from the government. Number 6, NTT. NTT, short for Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation, is a telecommunications holding entity headquartered in Tokyo, Japan. According to the 2023 Fortune Global 500 list, it stands as the sixth largest telecommunication company in terms of revenue. The company began its operations as a state monopoly in 1953 and transitioned to a private entity in 1985. In a May 19, 2023 blog post, NTT, in collaboration with the University of Tokyo and the Riken Research Institute, announced a technological advancement that accelerates optical quantum computers. By merging optical quantum processors with 5G optical communication technologies, they introduced an optical parametric amplifier for high-speed quantum signal measurements, achieving the world's fastest bandwidth in the 43 GHz band. This innovation, combined with Wavelength Division Multiplexing, WDM, lays the groundwork for a multi-core optical quantum computer, signifying a leap towards next-generation quantum computing. Number 7, Huant. Founded in 2018 and based in Stuttgart, Huant is a high-tech startup that represents an industrial consortium of 14 other German entities, all focused on advancing and industrializing photonic quantum technology. With a dedicated team of 90, Huant specializes in the development of quantum sensors and quantum computing chips. The company offers four product lines, particle sensors, quantum computing, atomic gyroscopes, and magnetometers. In June 2023, Huant announced that its first-generation chips had been integrated into a processor. During a functional test, a system was devised to simulate random numbers. Number 8. Quantum Source Based in Israel, the company specializes in the development of technology for photonic quantum computers. Founded in 2021, it brought together professionals from the semiconductor industry and physicists. The team, with a collective contribution of over 170 published articles, includes 18 PhD holders from notable academic institutions. Quantum Source strongly advocates for the photonic approach to quantum computing. Their website emphasizes that while other quantum methods may have scientific merit, they offer limited practical value. In contrast, they assert that photonics is the sole avenue to produce genuinely useful quantum computers, necessitating large-scale, error-corrected systems with millions of qubits. Although the company remains discreet about its technology specifics on its website, they tout a unique method for photon generation and quantum gates claiming it to be five orders of magnitude more efficient than the current leading implementations. Regarding funding, a news release dated April 19, 2023, stated that Quantum Source raised a $12 million seed extension investment round. This round was led by Dell Technologies Capital and saw participation from 10D, along with existing investors Eclipse VC, Grove Ventures, and Patango First. This extension elevates Quantum Source's total seed funding to $27 million. To summarize today's video, Number 1, Technological Breakthroughs with the Photonic Approach In recent years, the photonic approach has seen significant advancements. For instance, Canada's Xanadu launched Borealis, a quantum computer with 216 squeezed state qubits, achieving quantum supremacy. Several other companies have also introduced commercially available products or prototypes, marking an exciting era. Number 2. Growing support for the photonic approach. This approach is attracting investments from venture capitalists and receiving government grants and contracts. Such financial backing is enabling companies to expand their teams and manufacturing capabilities, propelling growth in the sector. Number 3. Potential in scaling and networking. The ability to scale and network is vital in quantum computing. The photonic approach is showing promise in these areas, especially as scaling remains one of the most significant challenges in quantum computing, and networking emerges as a pivotal topic in quantum technology.
Number 4, awaiting a dominant design. While there's a flurry of activity and innovation in the quantum computing field, it's still early days, and a clear dominant design or approach has yet to emerge. That concludes today's video. Please leave any comments or feedback below. If you feel you've learned something new, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me continue creating content. Thank you.